think it's very easy to get lured into the fact that it's a race and forget that it's actually an expedition. What? Oh. A lot of teams, I think, will just start too fast and won't look after themselves, won't look after each other, and things just can sort of start to spiral out of control after that. is about to begin. 671 kilometers, and it is brutal. Ah! We got a team down. A team is down. Ah. Well, here we go. New Zealand's capsized. That's a top adventure racing team in the world, and off to a shaky start. The world's toughest race is underway. This ocean crossing should not be taken lightly. Any navigation error can result in teams getting caught outside the reef and potentially stranded in the middle of dangerous open ocean. And if they choose not to use their sails, teams could be paddling for up to 12 hours in the scorching sun. Below those front runners, wow, they're gunning it. Veteran adventure racers Oregon Bend Racing are out to an early lead. Why aren't you putting your sails up? We're not putting the sails up because it's not windy enough. And we're obviously doing OK paddling since we're in the front. So might as well stick with us for a while. We had been training pretty hard on the outrigger. Disappointed that there wasn't really enough wind to, uh, to make the sailing worthwhile, but Dan Stodigal, he's really the horse of the team. He is extremely strong. So we were cruising along in the paddle and felt great. Yeah! Woo! All right, we got to jog it down. Dan, you OK? Nope. Nope. I might be able to jog, but I'm not OK. We know a lot of these racers, and we're definitely capable of being the top US team. But the question is, how do we stay in this emotional state of believing that we can keep going on? No Dan shots. Was our engine no crossing shots. the ocean, and we might have ran the engine a little hot, so we're giving it some time to cool off. Despite their flip at the start, New Zealand has already passed 60 teams, and they're hunting down Oregon's bend racing. Our race uh, had a bit of a funny start. We quite promptly capsized our Kamakau canoe, so yeah, that was a little bit embarrassing, but so these races are obviously really long, and there's so much that can happen. Being up at the top of the pack with all the other teams coming up right behind us, we just kept the forward progress. And it just got too hot for Dan, and he basically started to overheat. We're just going to keep pushing, because that's why this sport exists for us. It's what gets you close to all those edges and over them, so that you have to, to react and adapt. Dan, you okay? We will cross the finish line. There, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, unless somebody is completely broken and they won't let us go on with three, we will finish the race. I'll check up there. Nice work, buddy. Yes. Yeah. Mayday, mayday. 